Hey guys, it's your girl Briella, and this is how I refinished my stairs. So guys, stay tuned and see how I got this look. So remodeling my stairs is probably the most longest project I've ever took on. So I used a Milwaukee sander and I started off with pre-cut 40 grit sandpaper. The sander is pretty easy to attach the grit paper. So basically what you do is you slide it in and then there's a lever on the side which you push up and it allows the second portion of the sandpaper to kind of slide into a lock position. They also made it very easy to turn on by just clicking that button to the right and then turn off by clicking the button to the left. So the sanding portion I'd probably say took the longest just because you have to really remove all the prior stain and if it had any varnish on it also remove that with 40 to 60 grit paper. Then from there, after you've stripped the stain off, basically the next step is you have to use 100 to 120 grit paper and kind of get it to a smoother wood surface. And then from there, 220 for the final surface before applying a finish. So the sanding process actually did take a long time just because I used a sheet sander. A belt sander would actually get the job done quicker, but I opted to use the sheet sander. It is also very important that if you have valuables such as furniture and electronics around, you definitely want to cover them up with a drop cloth. As you can see, these are what my stairs look like after I sanded with 40 grit paper, then 120 grit paper, then 220 grit paper. Then the next thing you do to prepare for the oil-based stain, you want to cover up any cracks or holes or any gaps in the wood that are greater than one quarter of an inch but less than one inch. Then after applying wood filler, the next thing you will do is begin staining. So I use mini wax dark walnut stain and as you can see I am starting on my handrail first. I am using a sponge to apply this and basically what you want to do is apply the stain then in about 5 to 15 minutes basically wipe off any excess if there is any excess that way the oil stain dries without turning sticky so if you did apply too thick of a layer of the oil stain basically what you'll see is that you're able to remove it if you do Put another layer of the oil stain on and basically keep wiping back and forth to get up some of the old stain that had turned sticky. You can also try wiping with mineral spirits to get some of the stain up to fix the stickiness and allow the oil stain to dry. You can also uh, apply this stain too with a brush. So it took about two to three hours for the stain to dry and then after that I prepared to apply the polyurethane. First I had to clean the floors again and wipe them off just to make sure and then I began applying a coat of polyurethane. So I started with the first coat then after the first coat was applied as thickly as possible I would then sand it with 220 grit paper wipe the floors off again and then after cleaning the floors i would apply the polyurethane oil based stain wait 12 hours then re-sand with 220 grit paper so the goal is about two to three coats of the polyurethane and as you can see from the clips, I am hand sanding uh, with 220 grit paper. I am not using the Milwaukee sheet sander. So some of the tips for any type of floor that has polyurethane finish on it that's oil based. So you want to allow up to about 12 hours for the polyurethane to harden. Sometimes it can take up to a month, but not always for the polyurethane 
to here. You can walk with socks on the floor for the first couple of days. And I want to say about in one week or two weeks, you can start applying furniture onto the floor. Last part of supply, tape to stair treads and paint the stair risers. So this is the finished look of my stairs. They came out really well. Definitely was worth all the hours that I put into this project. And it was actually fun to paint. I love painting. And I hope you guys liked and enjoyed. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys for watching.